everyone and welcome to my video about my care routine. Today I want to show you how my parents brush me, how they brush my teeth, how they check on my ears and how they wash me. In general my care routine is, is that my parents brush my fur once a day and they also brush my teeth once a day and then they check in on my ears every second day because that's a very sensitive topic for poodles. And then they also sometimes wash me, but they don't wash me often. They only wash me when I really have to be washed and they try to do it as seldom as possibly. So let's start with my brushing routine. As already mentioned, my parents brush me once a day and they started the day that I came home and they always use one portion of my dry food in order to build a positive association with brushing because I don't really like it that much at the moment and they hope that it's gonna change. And that's also why we made that part of our daily routine that I'm just gonna get more and more used to it. And we always start with this little comb and they just like go very, very thoroughly through my fur. And then afterwards we brush my fur with a real brush and they try to be very careful so that they don't hurt me but also because I'm like brushed daily I don't really have any tangles in my fur yet so it's very very easy to brush in a gentle way and also to prevent tangles from happening and for poodles it's always very important to look for tangles underneath the ear and underneath the armpits from my front legs and just like brush very thoroughly there and that's basically everything you have to care about and look for and it's very very di let's continue with the bathing or washing my parents really wash me as rarely as possible so far they've only washed me once fully because they wanted me to get used to the feeling but other than that they've only washed my paws since they've been wet since i've been playing outside a lot but they really, really made it a step-by-step -step process in order to get me used to the shower. So at first they only put me into the shower with no water on and I always get snackies when I'm in the shower. And the next step was that they put water on my feet and I also got snackies. And then next step I got water on my legs and that was really a day by day process so like one day you start with just like being in the shower next day feet wet other day your legs get wet and so forth and that's how they try to build like a positive association and not to overwhelm me with like showering me completely right away and that really worked kind of well because by now I also t sometimes jump into the shower on my own. When you first shower your poodle fully, be careful that no water gets into their ears because that's very harmful. And also to not brush them after showering because that's also harmful for the fur. If you want to brush them, you should do that before washing them. The next important thing is to always take care of the ears because for poodles, because of the floppy ears, they sometimes tend to get ear infections and there's not much air coming into the ear and also there's a lot of hair in the ear so you always have to take care of that and see how you manage that because with poodles it's always the discussion whether to pluck the hair or whether to just cut it and it's just like a discussion that you have to decide for your own and we haven't decided yet because my parents told me that we're gonna go to the vet in two days so we're just gonna decide afterwards and after hearing her recommendations and then of course we can do another video on that how we do it and how we decided but for now to already get me used to my parents dealing with my ears and that i don't feel weird about them doing stuff with my ears they already use this eyelash brush in order to like just come kindly in order to just brush the hair out of the ears and what they also do is that they sometimes unfold my ears and they like just put them open and just like wrap them over when I'm just lying and sleeping so that more air can get into my ear so that they just prevent an ear infection from happening. Last but not least, my parents always make sure to brush my teeth. Even though I still have my milk teeth, they're already doing it now in order for me to get used to the feeling of my parents 
being in my mouth and trying to brush my teeth because I don't really like that at all. And we just started with that a week ago and I'm 11 weeks old now. So we just try to make that part of our routine that we always brush my teeth and use this little teeth brush with the nubs on it. And then I also have a special toothpaste for dogs, which I like because it tastes like beef. So that's very nice. And the front teeth are always kind of working out well already, but my back teeth are a problem because I don't really like my mommy going deep into my mouth yet, but I think that's going to be fine in the future. So for now, this has been my care routine that we're doing very, very regularly. And of course, also things such as to cut my claws are important or to share my fur, but that's something that we haven't done ourselves yet and that we're going to do in the future. And of course, we're going to share that journey with you guys as well. And if you really liked my video, I would love for you to give me a comment or a like. And if you want to follow my journey of growing older and all my updates, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day, everyone.